TMI time. <laughs> TMI one, I use boys deodorant. Um, Irish Springs, have you ever smelled that? It's delicious. Number two, I have four fake teeth. Can you tell which ones they are? TMI four, I love squeezing zits. If you have a zit and you're anywhere near me, watch out because I will be after it. Teeth. My phone just went off. I think it's Troy. Discussing TMIs because honestly we're talking about how that's how we live our life. Just filterless. <laughs> and so I said we could probably just talk about our conversations. And I bet you right now he said something like, yeah. He says, bah ha 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 totes. Like how you should never touch clothes left on the floor of my room. <laughs> I know that. I learned that the hard way. Jesus Christ, Troy. So, my five um, music choices for a desert island would be movies, Fight Club, number one, favorite movie of all time. I don't think that will ever change. Mary Poppins. The Royal Tenenbaums, it was really hard to choose just one Wes Anderson film. Oh my god, I idolized the man. Super bad. I don't think I've ever laughed as hard at a movie. Fifth, I'm just going to go ahead and say Babes on Broadway. I just adore it. I adore it. And as you guys know, like my very first... Hollywood celebrity crush was on Mickey Rooney, the short, short little man. I don't know what is wrong with me. Short men, come on. But Mickey Rooney, because he's just cute as fuck, and I love him. Hi. <laughs> this is one of my BFFs, Cristiani Arias. Hi. Um. Say no. something in Spanish for them, I don't know. Something hot. Yo me llamo Cristian Alexis Aires Romero. Sexy! Okay, he's gonna share a TMI, because I could only come up with four. Okay, so, one of the weirdest things that I do is, whenever I'm with friends, or at a party, or just talking, just whatever, we're just chilling, I like to tell people about my bathroom stories, like, pooping and how sometimes I have explosive diarrhea and how sometimes I'm constipated and I really like when I spend the night at people's places and I lock the door and I hotbox them with the gases that come yeah, out Yeah, that's not funny! <laughs> it's not okay! He does this to me! He did this to me! Yeah. No! It was really funny. That's a funny story. We should tell him about that one. So let's not. My yeah. room smelled for like three <laughs> days straight. Okay, but so there was something dead inside of him. There was something dead inside. Besides of him. It his was a little, soul, no. I mean, it, it was just besides my dead. soul. Yeah. it was probably a little chipmunk that I ate or or a gerbil you put up your ass. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell him about that. That's, <laughs> that's TMI, girl. That's TMI. Well, then we nailed it. Okay. Anyway, yes. you know what? I've actually heard that my farts produce a feeling of, ah, oh shit, what's it called? A vomitness? Or, no, uh, besides that, people, like, wake up confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like you roofie where, them with your fucking stinky ass. Where, where am I? <laughs> uh, you're in your room. You just happened to breathe in all the toxic fucking that came out of carbon ass. monoxide yeah. and almost <laughs> died from it. Oh, oh my boy. god, this kid. Look at him. Thinks he's a pimp. So yeah, anyway, I'm yeah. Uh, I still have to say my favorite or my top five desert island books. So, uh, John Steinbeck of Mice and Men. Oh my god, you're so creepy. Um, the Black Jewels trilogy. Um, it's amazing if you're into anything like. Here, fill mine up. <laughs> if you're into anything like uh, 
fantasy stuff at all. Like, it's fucking awesome! Uh, Satan is, like, the good guy. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's true. It's amazing. And there's this hot, like, demon daemon. That's oh my god. Mystery. Yeah, and, um... It's really cool, too, because the main character is Janelle, and she's the most powerful jewel. You're ranked by your jewel levels to ever exist. So basically, she can even kick Satan's ass. It's amazing. Read it. Um, Fight Club, Chuck Palahniuk, my favorite author of all time. Thank you, Chris. Um, that's my one, if I had to choose, because I love everything he writes, except for Pygmy was a little rough. Grace, you know. Um, Valley of the Dolls, loved it. Sharon Tate was amazing in the movie, too. Um, and then Buddy Babylon, of course. I mean, I laughed so hard reading that book. It's ridiculous. And actually, like, when I very first bought it, um, I was driving home that day, and I had a half-gone thing of vodka and it like opened up in my car and it spilled yeah it spilled all over my copy of Buddy Babylon but I wasn't even mad because it was like this is just super appropriate so for this week's challenge I want you to dress in drag like a boy talk like a boy dress like a boy and look like a boy yeah like a, a boy, boy. But not like me, girl, because if you do, then you're not doing your challenge right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way.